Okay. Um, so this is going to be uh, Jack and the Beanstalk here. So Jack bought a bag of magic beans from a stranger on the road. Not a wise retail purchase, if you ask me. Jack appears to be a bit lacking in judgment when it comes to consumer literacy. <laughs> I don't know who wrote this, it's funny though. All right, anyway, when he gets home, things don't go well when he explains his recent purchase to his mother. The beans are thrown out the window and he is sent to bed without supper. He dreams of calculus and integrals because he's weird uh, and what might happen the next day. All right, so we're gonna observe the beanstalk growing. And if you guys could just type in the chat some things, things that you notice. What do you notice? Um, they're pleasantly cynical. That's what I feel too. You said it better, pleasantly cynical. Um, what are some things that you notice about the uh, growth rate or like about the beanstalk in general? Like, what do you notice about it um, and how it's growing? It has leaves at exact, <laughs> exact intervals. That's interesting. All right, can you say something about like the rate uh, at which it's growing though? It's consistent. Um, but that's there we go. I was gonna say, can we put like a mass term to that constant? It's growing at a constant rate. That's what I noticed. So do you wonder anything? Like I would be like, well, is it gonna speed up? Is it gonna slow down? Is it gonna um it's green? Uh, you know, how long is it gonna keep growing for? You know, those are some things that we noticed about that and some things that we wonder. All right, so what we're gonna do here is graph. I have too many things on my screen here. I'm trying to make this smaller. Um, we're gonna graph. Uh, the relationship between height and time. So time is down here on the x-axis. Um, and then what's going on with height? So what is this graph going to look like? As time goes by, what's happening to the height of the beanstalk? Yeah, linear, straight line. Good. OK, so I'll draw that on here. It's, and it's starting at nothing. At time, nothing. It hasn't grown. Um, and it's going to do you know something like that. So we, we can agree on the increasing. All right, good. Okay, cool. All right, now this one, um, we want a relationship between time and the growth rate. So um, what is that gonna look like? Uh, now it's gonna have a zero slope, but good, flat, flat, oh, flat linear, which means constant. Um, so it's gonna be something like this. And the reason I drew this at one, because you'll see I take issue with the next slide, um, watch how it's growing. It hits, you know, one and then two and then three. So it's growing at, but see, they didn't label. Well, I guess, you know, I guess they did label. I don't know. I put mine at one. I guess I won't argue over that too much. Um, but here's what they put, which is pretty much the same as what we put. This is linear. And then the growth rate is constant. pancake linear. All right. Um, so how are these graphs related? Um, how would you describe the relationship between this one and this one? And let's use some calculus words in there. Like the, the relationship between this one and the, good. That's exactly what I was looking for, a derivative. So um, derivative of something linear is going to give you something constant. And that makes it should make sense. A derivative is a rate of change. So the rate is the derivative graph. Right? So, cool. All right. So the graph to the left shows how fast the beanstalk grows throughout the night. How tall do you think it's going to get after growing for eight hours? So it grows for eight hours. Um, and they, they labeled this now, uh, it's growing at 300, because this is in 100 uh, meters per hour. If it grows for eight hours at 300 meters per hour, um, how tall is it gonna be? So 300 meters per hour, it grows for eight hours. Good, see, why? Like how, yeah, well, it's gotta reach up to the cloud where the giant is, right? So Jack can go out there. Um, how do we get 2,400? Because that is going to be the right answer. Yeah, you multiply them together for eight hours times 300 meters per hour. There we go. You, I was going to type it right here, but you typed it perfectly in the chat. So that's good. All right, so we, we multiplied those together. Um, and let's see it grow. So what it's going to do is it's going to fill in this graph as it goes. And then the beanstalk is also going to grow. So this is kind of cool. So as time goes by, um, and we get to uh, 2,400 meters for two. 0.4 kilometers. All right, so cool. You were right. Nice. Um, the area under this graph makes the shape of a rectangle. So what we did was base times height, which if that feels like the Riemann sums we did last time, good, because that's what it is. Um, now they're talking about the units. And a new skyline for that place. I like to point out how massive that flower pot is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that's, well, let me go back. 
Oh, the flower pot. Well, the flower pot is like kind of underground. Um, <laughs> interestingly, <laughs> that's funny. All right, so let's talk about the units real quick. Um, when we met, when we multiply the base unit, so time in hours by the height unit, so growth rate in meters per hours, what meter is made? Let me write this out here. We took hours and we multiplied it by meters per hour. Um, so what is happening there? When you do hours times meters per hour, um, and it's not going to be squared. What's going to happen to the hours instead? And I know, like, I can't draw the fraction bar, like, it's tough because I had to do, do it like a slantwise fraction bar. But yeah, if you do hours times meters, per, okay, they cancel and you're just going to get um, meters. So that's what happened. We did the base times height. We did hours times meters per hour, and we ended up with 2,400 meters is, is what we got there. All right, so this one, um, it's not a constant rate anymore. It starts out growing at 200 meters per hour and it speeds up. So it's growing faster and faster and faster um, until it's growing at 600 meters per hour. So how tall do you think it's gonna be after growing for eight hours? Well, uh, there are choices here, but how could you find out the answer exactly? Well, last time we did base times height, it was a rectangle. Hey guys, what shape do we have here? It's on its side, but what shape is this? Good, it's a trapezoid, all right? So let's do area of a trapezoid. It's one half times the height. So everybody, what's the height of this trapezoid? Here? And it's on its side, so be careful. Height of the trapezoid. Good, the height is this uh, time, so eight. And then we wanna add the bases together. Um, and so the bases are two and six. Plus six. Oh, let me read in the chat there. And I have a trapezoid. You did it back in geometry. It was just so many years ago. You don't remember it. All right. Um, so let's see what that's going to be. Half of eight uh, would be four. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't two plus six. It's 200 plus 600. Sorry. It's in 100 meters per hour. Oh, you don't think so? Well, it was a long time ago. So whatever. All right. So half of eight would be four. Um, 200 plus 600 would be 800. So we have four times 800, which is gonna be 3,200. And again, it's gonna be meters because we did hours times meters per hour. The hours cancel, it's gonna be 3,200 meters. Um, and so let's watch this one grow. So there it goes. And do you see how it's speeding up? Here, I'll make it go again. Watch the, the beanstalk here. It starts out growing slow and then it kind of speeds up there. All right, um, because this wasn't constant, it was linear. All right, so which bean stuff do you think is gonna grow taller in eight hours, the red or the blue? Just, just everybody type red or blue, which one? Or tie, I guess it could be a tie. Do you think red, red or blue? It's whichever one's gonna give you more area under the curve. That's, that's which one's gonna grow taller. All right, so red, blue or tie. All right, let's see what happens. And, and like, this is just for fun, just to see which one you think it's gonna be. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a tie. So, and I'm gonna do it again. I want you to watch the blue one is growing at a constant rate and the red one starts out slow and then speeds up. So let me, let me play it again, just watch. So see how the blue one's constant. Red starts out slow and then speeds up and it's like a photo finish. All right, um, so once again, red, blue or tie, which do you think? Blue again is a constant rate. Red is gonna speed up and then slow down. So I guess red, like, I don't know, got really excited, went really fast and then got lazy and, and slowed back down. So which one do you think, red, blue? It doesn't really matter. I just wanna like have you guys make a prediction. Ooh, this one's really mixed, red, blue. No one's saying tie. All right, let's see. And it's which one's gonna give you more area. And again, watch them. Blue is gonna grow constant and red is gonna speed up and then slow down, so. Red is ahead and then it slows down, uh, but red still had more area under the curve. So red um, had more total, I like how you said that, more total area, or I'll play them again. So blue is constant, red speeds up, slows down, but it was still ahead. All right, um, and then there's one more of these. So which do you think is gonna grow taller this time? Red is gonna speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. It like can't make up its mind what it wants to do. Blue is gonna speed up, but not linearly, like exponentially. Like that's gonna go, 
really, really fast by the end. All right, so which one do you think, red or blue, is gonna have more area? A lot of you are saying blue. Yeah, exponential is gonna pretty much take over here. All right, so let me play these ones. Um, so watch red. Red is gonna speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Blue is gonna start out slow and then kind of take off. So red speeds up, slows down, speeds up. Blue is just ahead by, uh, by a little bit here. I'll play it again. You can watch the, them grow over here. Speeds up, slows down, speeds up, and then blue exponential is gonna take off there. All right, and then this last one we're gonna do, this is where we get to type in an equation. So if you guys wanna type in some fun equations, well, oh, I did not mean to do that, I'm sorry. I maximized that. So if you guys want, just trying to move this over here, I'll move it down here. Um, type in some equations. Here, I'll type in two, just so you can see what this will look like. If we do two, um, a constant rate of two, it's gonna grow that much. We wanna to try to have it land in the cloud. So does anyone wanna tell me something I could try to type in? We could just try to type in a few different things here. X squared, all right, let's see. I know I can type, um, oh, there it is. All right, if we do X squared, all right, so that's gonna be a parabola. Let me close that, all right, here we go. Oh, wow, <laughs> that went up way too far. So here's the parabola and that's all that area under the curve. E to the X is gonna be even worse. Um, e to the X will look kind of like that. All right, x squared minus 3x plus 1. I wonder if I can just do that. Oh, there we go. All right, I like that someone brought up one that went below. It happens really fast, but if this graph goes below, um, your, your uh, beanstalk will actually go down. Like, it will shrink. So if you have a negative rate, it's going to shrink. Let me play that one again. Oh, can I make that one go again? Yeah, there we go. So watch it, it's really fast. Did you guys see how it went down right there? Okay, let me do another one that'll go like negative. I think I wrote, I wrote a few down here that we can try. Let me do two X minus four. So this is gonna be linear, but it's gonna start out negative. Watch how this will start out growing into the ground. Did you guys see that at first? Because this line is below the X axis for that first part. Let me play that again. So it goes like down and then back up. All right, x squared minus 7x. <laughs> so it's below the x-axis for all of this part. And then it would grow upwards a very little bit at the end, but so it, it grew negatively. All right, let me just try one more. I wrote down a few others here. Um, let's just do x. That would just be a line, so... So that one's good. And then um, let me do one more uh, parabola here. Because I was trying to get one that would land in the cloud. So that one, again, it started out below the x-axis. So it went down a little bit and then went up for the rest. 